Gary Schwartz here. I guess you would say I'm the wise one around here. You know, eight years of Hebrew school, Harvard educated. I usually run my own Seder, so I guess you would say I'm a bit experienced. My name is Jeremy Weston. Well, oh, I guess a Jewish event is not the first place I'd like to find myself. But I heard there's your food. Speaking of which, where is the food? Sean Glenner? I'm good for the simple dude. You know, the basics, Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, <sighs> bagels and locks. Hi, I'm Brian Fields, and I have no idea what I'm doing here. Many people struggle with the correct grasping of the coast, the traditional Kiddush Kiddushka. Just a quick tutorial, so you're going to want to pick up the coast in the right hand, pass it on to your left hand, and then slowly lower it to your right hand. Careful now, I've spilled many Kiddush cups in the process. Now that you have the cup in the right position, begin the Kiddush by announcing in a loud, clear voice. Attention, gentlemen! So I walk in five minutes late, and I see everyone's holding their cups of wine. That's a good sign, right? The meal's about to start. You would think so. Little do I know, there are two more hours of reading until we get to the food. I thought you was worth the food. So I can't repair my Maxwell House Sagana. And for the first 20 minutes, I am totally lost. And then the rabbi announces page 72. My God, it doesn't even have a page 72. Apparently, the rabbi has the Weiss edition. Who would have thought? I consider myself to be a little bit of a wine connoisseur. So when the meal got started and I poured my first glass of wine, a nice dry Sauvignon blank. I started sipping it slowly, but then I found out that we're gonna drink this whole cup four times. What horrible taste! Right hand, left hand, with the special cup, everyone screaming, no blushing, as if anyone makes a blessing when they wash their hands. And then they came out with potatoes, parsley, and raw onions. Who even eats raw onions? Now I saw tons of people eating more than a kazayas of karpas. Totally problematic. I mean, seriously, is parsley that appetizing? Yachatz, an obvious reenactment of the splitting of the sea. I have no idea why we broke the matzah, but I had fun. Fooled once again, we beat at the matzah, only to crack it and put it away. And of course, there's the proverbial fifth son. He doesn't even know that there's a Seder going on, and it's our job to invite him in. Why do I have this weird spiritual sensation that I'm in the wrong place? I mean, if God would have taken us out of Egypt and left us to die in the wilderness, would it really suffice? I guess it would suffice. If you notice, last year they blunted my teeth a little bit too much. That was so long. Thank God for Wi-Fi and bathrooms. So the first time we did this was so annoying, this time I just use hands. Sanitizer. Don't worry. Of course I made a blessing. Now it's very important not to speak between Moti Mata, Mara, and Kori. The only sounds allowed are a complicated series of code known only to Jewish people, which include the words all new and new all. What's with all these guttural sounds, new and uh? Just say it already! For example, to say pass the Haggadah, you're gonna wanna say new uh, new, 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 uh, new. Friend of the poor? I pray 25 bucks a pound for this! Now I know that it's very hard for many people to eat so much matzah. Well, technically, you can be Yotza with eating concentrated matzah powder. Like this! <laughs> So after eating crackers, bitter herbs, and lettuce, they bring out the crackers, bitter herbs, and lettuce together. Time for my third bathroom break. I was halfway home when I realized that my people was still on my head. Ha! What the? That's an abomination! That's unethical! Where, where's your diversity? 
Uh, sir, I'm sorry, but this is a Passover production. We just can't have any leavened bread. I, I, maybe we can get you in in a perm play. 